An upper respiratory infection, URI, like the common cold, the flu, or COVID, can cause your anesthesiologist to cancel your case. Usually, when your body is battling a recent or a new airway infection or upper respiratory infection, it is more reactive than if it would not be battling a URI. This means that if you're gonna have a surgery that requires you to have your breathing supported with a breathing tube or breathing device, your airway, meaning your trachea, the main pipe, and the bronchioles, which is where the oxygen is exchanged for your blood to carry to your bodies and stay alive, are more reactive. They can get spastic and they can tighten up. And if this happens, it can last quite a bit of time. And this means that you may have to have your breathing supported beyond your surgery. That's not a good thing for the lung. The lungs are very fragile and breathing or mechanically breathing for you after a surgical period can lead to worse problems as the lungs are trying to relax and, and improve. So for that reason, we cancel or postpone it two weeks, sometimes three weeks. It depends on your symptoms. It depends if you have a history of asthma and smoking or any other lung history outside of the upper respiratory infection. So know that if you are battling an upper respiratory infection and, you're, and you have symptoms, let your doctor know before the surgery so that you don't show up hungry and not haven't eaten anything um, because chances are your surgery is gonna be postponed because we want to minimize just how reactive those lungs are gonna be when your breathing is supported under a general anesthetic. So if you have an upper respiratory infection and you have symptoms and you're having surgery, let your doctor know you're probably not gonna have surgery that day. We want to let that storm settle. We want your body to clear that infection so that the lungs, when they have to be supported, they are compliant and they are not fighting what we are trying to do when we're trying to help you breathe and keep you alive.